Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new PowerPoint game. Today's game is the Pinocchio game, so let's get straight to it. To download any of these games, look for the Google Drive link that will be in the description of the video. Choose File and then Download and then Open as a Microsoft PowerPoint document. Okay, so let's talk about how we can actually make a game using this template. Now at the start of the presentation, you will actually go through how to use the point system. You can show this to your students or who you're playing with. Uh, click on the red arrow in the bottom right hand corner to move forwards. However, in this case, I'm actually going to click on skip. This is going to take me into the main game. So as you can see, there are 24 questions in this game. And I've designed it so that there are points counters for six teams. So when you come to the points counter, just simply click on the zero to change the numbers and keep clicking. You can go up to nine, total of 99 points. And if for any reason in the game they get minus points, you can click on this uh, plus sign here and change that into a minus. Click on the minus again, it will change it back to a plus. In the bottom right hand corner is Jimmy Cricket. He takes you back to the main points counter. If you need to go back to the points counter because maybe you made a mistake for some reason, just click on Jimmy Cricket in the bottom left hand corner and he will take you back to the points counter again and vice versa. So this game is a template. So let's just come to question uh, number one here. So what I'm gonna do is just pasting, pasting a picture here of a very big cat. And you can make uh, your question based around this. So we just make a really simple question here. Uh, what's this? And then we can put the answer in. So we can make uh, it's, sorry, delete that P. It's with an apostrophe, it's a cat. Okay, so there you have a question and an answer. So if we open up the slide, we have what's this? Click on the uh, pink rectangular box there. Click anywhere on the box actually, and then that will reveal the answer will come up like that. What's this? It's a cat. So just keep pasting in images into these boxes, or you can make word scrambles or you can insert video files as well, or sound files. And that's how you'll actually build up this game so you can play it with the students. Okay, now let's talk about how to actually play this game. I'm gonna choose question number two. So as we said before, it's a template. Click on the pink rectangular box and the answer will be revealed. Simply click on the yellow rectangular box with the answer and that will take you to the points. So this one is just a standard point slide and this one is for five points. These Pinocchios are going to disappear. And there you have it, five points, okay? So the Jiminy Cricket character in the bottom right-hand corner, you need to click on him. He will take you to the points counter, put in those points, plus or minus, and then click on Jiminy Cricket. The uh, number two character will disappear. And we can choose the next question. I'm going to choose number four. So question and answer. This time we have the bomb. <laughs> this one's a bit scary actually. A very old movie, but um, it's got some scary stuff in it. So anyway, this is the bomb and the team that gets this one, they're gonna lose all of their points, okay? So click on Jimmy Cricket. He will take you to the uh, points counter there. And then click on him again, and go back to the main question slide. Next, I'm going to choose question seven, lucky seven. Same again, question and answer. This is a nice one, actually. Pinocchio is changing into a real boy. So this is a very media intensive game. It has a lot of video files embedded. And it is a very big file size as well. I'll talk more about that later at the end of this video. Anyway, this is the change points. Again, click on Jimmy Cricket in the bottom right hand corner takes you to the points counter, click on Jimmy Cricket again, back to the main question slide. Next, I'm gonna choose question number eight, question and answer again. This one is slightly different, so uh, this makes a big difference. Pinocchio gets his face uh, painted on. And what's his name gonna be? What's your name? Pinocchio. Yes, I do. Good, okay, so Pinocchio gets his name. This one is for a steal five points. So you can steal five points from another team. Again, click on the Jimmy Cricket character. 
and that will take you to the points counter and then click on Jimny again back to the main question slide. Next one I'm going to choose is question number 10. Okay, question and uh, answer there. Now this is something slightly different, something I've done in some other games that um, I've made, is you get to choose two and there are plus and there are minus points as well, okay? So you can choose two different um, boxes. So let's just try this out. So number one, for example, okay, we've got this one, it's Monstro. This one is minus five points. Now in the top left-hand corner, you'll see there's a mini points counter here. So as this one is minus five, I'm gonna click on the plus there, changes to a minus, and I can put in minus five points. Let's choose another one, uh, number three. Number three, yep. Okay, so five points there. So I can put those uh, five points back in and we come up to zero, change it to a plus sign if you like. Let me click on the other ones. I've uh, got plus five there. Number six here, what's that? That's uh, don't be a donkey. Minus seven points there. Yeah, and another minus points there, minus five points with the nose getting bigger and bigger. And I'm gonna choose number four here. These ones here, no silly dancing. Only one point for this one. There you go. Good. So to go back to the points counter, click on Jimmy Cricket in the bottom right hand corner. Takes you to the points counter, click on him again, back to the main question slide. So now I'm gonna choose number 11. I've shown a lot of examples here because there's lots of stuff in this game. Question and answer, click through that. So this is a standard choice, just only choose one of these. Uh, four different choices here. One, two, three, and four. So let's choose number one. Okay, so this is the, um, he's a real boy for the change points. We'll choose number two now. Oh, this one is for 10 points, okay. This is where the Boo Fairy comes and makes uh, Pinocchio alive. Uh, number three, <laughs> that's the bomb again. And um, yeah, Stromboli. And number four, another one point, okay. So these uh, video files are all playing at the same time. Anyway, click on Jimmy Cricket and he's gonna take you to the uh, main points counter again. Click on him again, back to the main question slide. Um, got more to do, uh, number 12. Question and uh, answer there. So yeah, an actor's life for me. And um, there's a few of these choices where there's two choices. One will be plus points and one will be minus points. So there's a few different ones uh, similar like this. This one is for Jimmy Cricket here. It's gonna come up here. Not Jimmy Cricket, sorry, this guy, I forgot his name, the fox guy in the movie. Anyway, click on um, A here. Click on the edge, click on the edge of this box. And then it will reveal the uh, points that are behind it. So a monster again for minus five points. Uh, go to the edge of the box, the hand will come up and then click. Yeah, okay, this one is for 10 points. Okay, I'm gonna come out of this, click on Jimmy Cricket to go back to the uh, main points counter. So finally, I'm going to choose question number 24. Click on the uh, pick rectangular box and the yellow rectangular box. Now this one is something slightly different. We've got this video file to play for about 15 seconds. And when uh, Pinocchio finishes his dancing here, he gets tangled up in the strings here. Yeah, there are no strings on you. So this is actually a spinner. Quite like this actually. So for the spinner, you can choose one or two, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and choose number two. Click on number two here. And then the spinner will come around like this. Like I said, choose one or two. Spinner will spin. Okay, we've got five points there, so plus five points. Now up in the top right hand corner, it will actually tell the students what the other number was and how many points there were. Because when I played this, they were very keen to know what they would have got for the other number. So anyway, it's up there and you can see it. So let's click on Jimmy Cricket and that takes me back to the points counter. Click on him again, back to the main question screen. So that's it. I hope you could enjoy using this game. Hope it is fun to play. It is a very large file size. I will try and offer a smaller compressed file size one as well. 
And also, please note to look at the comments that are put into the game. They will help you to play and use this game. Uh, please give me your comments, what you think of this game, like it, hate it, or things you'd like to see changed. I have checked this game again and again and again. Hopefully, there are no mistakes in there. But um, if you do find something, let me know and I will change it. Uh, I may tweak the game a little bit, add a few extra things that improve it in the next coming weeks. So come back to this video and see if I've done that if you like. Thank you so much. Christmas season is coming. I will set to work next on a new Christmas game. So have a great week. Take care. Ciao. Bye bye.